We we are recording. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's the agenda for today? You mentioned some seeker goodness. Mm -hmm. So I am on board with seeker goodness. one to four but I think uh, let's let's let it sit because it's better to analyze it all in one bunch mm -hmm. so where am I going now um seeker full release sec uh, second edition part two that's where chapter nine starts seeker full release oh god I'm totally lost hang on what You want to know the folder structure? Full release, second dead part two. Is that what I'm looking uh -huh. for? Yeah. Okay. And there you are. Okay, cool. Yes, we are in the same document. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on in that folder. Yeah, <laughs> there is. So the the beginning part is a little bit messy because I I moved the last scene from the end of chapter 8 to the beginning here. So I moved the atmospheric entry part to the beginning of chapter 9 and now uh, I will want to mix and match some of that with the text we have here so that it blends together so there, there is a little bit uh, work required at, at the beginning, but I would say that from here, uh, the the part that I want to blend ends about here, and the the part uh, where we could start reading is about here. Mm -hmm. So, um, plot wise. The chapter kicks off now. Uh, the ca chapter kicks off with the uh, jewel reaching, having departed from the uh, private prison station, <coughs> uh, where all sorts of uh, shady shit goes down. Jewel has uh, has the tracking data from uh, uh, from the evacuation pods or evacu pods, and uh, and she knows that they're they're directed to the planet and uh, she's uh, following that path and she has also learned that one of those signals is not like the other so there is a big big fat alert attached to one uh, the way I the, the, the way I would uh, resolve that one is that uh, when the guards get when the guards uh, unlock the pods jump in, launch them, then some at some point post-launch there is some sort of secondary control, either biometric or, or some sort of doodad, which, uh, which even the guards don't know about in advance, which means they haven't been able to uh, share that information too helpfully. And, uh, and the implication is that Fortune, during his uh, epic uh, pod break, didn't know about that uh, that feature. Didn't know how to uh, how to um, pass that check. And now uh, now his pod uh, has the has been tagged as as possible fugitive. So this means there is no extra choosing, extra sorting of the signals. She will just knows. Okay, follow that signal, and uh, and she has reached the planet. Uh, the chapter starts with atmospheric entry, which we will do in a very hand wavy, very glossy manner, so as not to say too many stupid things, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and we will carry on from the point where uh, where she is trying to pinpoint the. Uh, the escape pod's exact location. Like she knows where it went down, but she doesn't know how to get to the exact spot. 
So the the first sentence here says she sets solitaire into gradual glide. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to read that as a gradual glide, I think. Okay. But other than that, I think I'm good to go. She sets solitaire into a gradual glide. Ah, already. Oh, nice. <laughs> <coughs> she set solitaire into a gradual glide and opened the real-time external view with data overlay. The signal led to a subtropical region not far from the on not far from the only on-ground spaceport. During the second wave terraforming, some aspiring tycoon got it started. The port was to serve as main hub for a full-scale colonization. Mid construction, a mildly irritating compound in the local atmosphere, Jewel couldn't recall the name, had turned out to be harmful in long term exposure. And with the more human optimal Trelasky 3 so close, the whole project fell out of fashion. The port now ran on its minimum capacity, providing a dash of air conditioned civilization amidst the tangy, overgrown forests and wild outposts. Seekers did not have presence in the port, but they did have contacts. Jewel set Solitaire to hover and scan the canopy for recent damage. She leaned back and rested her eyes on the visual feed, noticing how different this place was from the chrome and steel thickets she usually ventured. Fluttering movement near the treetops caught her attention. Zoom in. A flock of grey-green creatures was flapping towards camera in a jolly flotilla, more of them on the horizon. Solitaire flashed an identification overlay and offered an info playback. Suppressing a wave of nausea, Jewel welcomed further distraction. Play. Colourful animation filled third of the screen, and a friendly academic sp voice spoke out. Stop there? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, the text is so bad. <laughs> it's like, uh, everything is wrong. <laughs> or I'm having a few bits where I'm, I'd like thes and a's to be added in in certain places the, just for my own. These and a's aren't even the problem, it's just so... And I wrote this. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so heavy and so clunky and I can already see how much I need to... Ugh. <laughs> Basically, I'm, <laughs> I'm 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 not happy with this text, not at all. Like there 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 are <coughs> there are copyrighted issues mixed with the sort of structural issues and uh, ugh, I can't even. <laughs> How do you want to proceed? Should we go back and go more in depth with some of these, or shall I continue reading? Hmm, I need to, I need to adjust a little bit. It's it's been a while since we've done the reading, so it's like, hmm. It's it's like basically all the all the information in here is okay. It's just that the presentation is sort of. And now let let us tell you about this thing that you mm. need to know. There will be a test later. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, basically, I will. So there's there's repetition in here. So oh, hang on. Oh, don't 
don't be a dick. Just sneeze. Come on. <laughs> Wait for it. No, but it's gonna be a dick. Oh. Uh <laughs> I think, uh, uh, yeah, I think let's let's leave uh, let's leave this paragraph alone because okay. the <laughs> this trim is, up that whole shit. <laughs> this, this is something I need to do alone. <laughs> 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 and uh, and let's just carry on with the uh, carry on with the in world uh, hand handy exposition that I have all intention of keeping in. So would you uh, let's let's do it so do you want me to read the uh, computer voice uh, again? Yeah, so yeah. I'll so, do up to So give me an intro to the play. Mm -hmm. So you read up up until here and I will carry on from here. Play. Colourful animation filled third of the screen and a friendly academic voice spoke out. Nemora, the forest oriented variants of highly adaptable composite creature. Engineered to become the primary or secondary consumers in art artificial ecosystems. Incorporates traits from various old earth species. Most notably, flying fox, brown rat and common chameleon. Some templates other derivatives are usually biome specific, such as the Frigora, the Aridi and the Specus or Scree. The Nemora are crucial for sustaining and maintaining the various forest masses. Typical diet consists of saplings, bark and buds. Crucially, they prefer plant tissue that is damaged or infested with fungi. By consuming seasonal fruit and moving across large territories, the Nemora are essentially for are essential for distributing seeds. Their substantial droppings are an important component for topsoil fertilization. <laughs> Jewel grinned quietly. After a short pause, Solitaire must have retrieved some data from local sources. The voice continued. Ah. Uh, okay. This, this is this is where this is where punctuation is your guide for reading. Let me let me read it for you. You will grin quietly. After a short pause, Solitaire must have retrieved some data from local sources. The voice continued. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's what the dashes are for. They are separating the sort of. Uh, Side thought. So I can I can read this uh, additional part here as well. In the Trelasi system, the Nemora have gained a nickname that roughly translates as jungle janitors. This is most likely because of some populations near compulsive practice of burying the decomposing animal and plant matter. Jewel yawned and waited for more, but the playback had ended. Display scan progress. The screen returned to fly over view with grid overlay. After a short wait, wait, another contour blinked. An unnatural looking gap in the greens. Jewel set the course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see some... When it comes to what Jewel is doing and what the shuttle is doing and the interfaces and all that, I can see copy edit issues here as well. <laughs> wow, that was almost the predator noise right there. Yeah, that's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for predator, aren't you? <laughs> Continue on. Just a second. Let me put some. Let me lay down some markers. Okay. 
wall of pungent warmth almost smacked her back into the airlock. There was itchiness in the air that rasped her throat and misted her eyes. Jewel leaned her back to the hull, trying to measure her gasps. Generally tolerable levels my ass. Jewel wished she'd had the foresight to put on the emergency life suit. Life suit. She welcomed the gush of cooler air that vented through the opening above. Her eyes were slowly adjusting, and she picked up distant noises from unknown, unseen critters. Down here, the only hint of green was the teal splotch of sky, the mass of creeping vines that engulfed the massive gargantuan tree trunks, displaying an unsettling dark crimson instead. Jewel could have sworn that she saw the younger leaves glow orange or ever... Jewel could have sworn that she saw the younger leaves glow orange ever so slightly. She shook her head and tried to focus. The path that the escape pod's descent had cut through the thorny thicket was still visible, but the mending undergrowth was already re was already claiming it. <laughs> yeah, I have I have already littered this uh, this paragraph with markers, so basically I can I can see where I can where I can replace words to be snappier and where I can cut some shit and. So basically, this also needs some trimming, just like the forest itself. <laughs> basically, what we're trying to say here is that it's humid and hot. Jewel herself ain't feeling so hot. <laughs> yep. uh, there might be some... The, the, the only source of any ventilation is the opening in the, in the trees. The tree, uh, blah, blah, the the sky, uh, is a shade of teal or or like a little bit greenish. The trees, on the other hand, are dark red as much as you can see, and there might be some bioluminescence uh, going on. And I have added a helpful note that uh, uh, that uh, the the whole bioluminescence thing could be played as a possible trick of Jewel's eyes or mine, like uh, this is where her uh, beaten up uh, beaten up head might start playing tricks on her. Mm. I think go on for a second. Jewel dared to take a deeper breath and decided she was strong enough to follow the tracks. She treaded slowly, taking care to observe the surroundings and to avoid unnecessary effort. Several dozen thorns and scoops of sweat later, she caught a glimpse of the texture that didn't belong. She slid to the ground and spent some extra time taking in the scene. Her ears could only detect the ever-present distant hums, muffled grunts and subtle ruffling where new buds popped or the smaller critters were displacing the layer of decaying leaves. Looking around, she noticed that the forest floor, too, had an ever, ever so faint glow to it. After a while, Jewel was convinced that nobody else was coming or going. She struggled to stand up, suddenly aware of her shirt sticking to her bruised back. Pushing away the wave of nervous anticipation, she managed to cover the remaining distance almost quietly. The closed evac pod seemed mostly intact. Its labelling, identical to those at the prison station, left no doubt of its origin. It's, hang on, sorry, let me try that again. Uh, I will already mark the sentence because it is clunky as fuck. And also, let's change the name. Evacuport. The closed evacuport seemed mostly intact. Its labelling, identical to those at the prison station, left no doubt of its origin. The panel protecting the external key controls was smashed, probably courtesy of local wildlife, Jewel thought. She tried prodding at the manual overrides. Nothing happened. She held her breath and weighed gently on the hatch itself. It sprung ajar with no resistance, and without the telltale seal pop of enclosed units. The empty chamber's rim showed fresh tool marks. She grunted and examined the ground for footprints, one set trampling around the pod and leading away. Another two joining it shortly, leading to... Jules stopped and leaned on a tree, trying to catch her breath again. Three conjoined tracks leading to... She made an effort to focus her gaze and made out a cone of, sp of daylight ahead. To a clearing. No, too many crushed vines to be natural. 
to an unknown craft's landing spot. Jules stood in helpless rage, dirty streams of sweat glistening under skylight. She was going to swear, then her knees buckled and a deep, dark hum engulfed all her senses. (laughs) 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 Oh, the drama! (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Uh, so there are some content uh, tidbits here that need adjusting, for example... I also need to learn how to read these dash bits because it got a bit difficult in this one where it was a, it was a dash, and then it was sort of like a sub thought of that dash as well, if you know what I mean. Uh, um, say, I will get to it yeah. to that in a right. minute. More on that on more. On <laughs> <the> bit. <laughs> uh, first, I'm gonna add in the bit that the pod has some scorch marks. Because the uh, drones have shot at it. Lasers! (laughs) (laughs) Drones! The drones have shot at it! Lasers! (laughs) (laughs) And and also... Why say it's labeling identical to those at the prison station left no doubt of its origin? There's like two sentences in there. Yeah, just just say that it's it's labeling made clear that where it came from, or it's labeling confirmed where it came from. That's that's quite enough. I can I can I can recognize that I have put this convolution here. This is all my do- my own doing. Why? <laughs> yeah. Or marking labeling. So this is this is not the uh, end sentence, but this is the idea. What we're what we're saying here. here so basically the the port hull should have some damage but I, I'll have to think how to how to present that or how to best present that okay opening the hatch is okay ish and okay so when it comes to the part where she examines the ship and where her con- consciousness is starting to sort of fade away, uh, this is this is the part where mm, where I think I will have to play with the paragraphs a little bit. Moving to. might work uh, better this way. So I think it works better if I if I make these sort of short cuts here. Uh, this this is uh, I think this is this is the convention for cutting, making abrupt cuts in dialogue. Like when somebody's speaking and is interrupted, then you put a sort of single dash there. Mm-hmm. That's what I have read. It's 
basically if if the interruption if the interruption is uh, abrupt then you use a dash and if it's more like uh, hmm then you use the dots mm. Shall I carry on? Just a second. Okay. I am, I am thinking. The editor is in residence. <laughs> Is it a CNH tractor? Because I might have helped build that. I yeah. Can, I can't <laughs> see. I can only see that uh, it's uh, a road construction vehicle. Some uh -oh. sort, I think. A roll, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Instead of saying she was going to swear, then her knees buckle, it would be more like fuck. Yeah, and then yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there, it needs to be. It's more like swear word choked in her throat, her knees <laughs> buckled, and whatever. So basically, I want this uh, paragraph to be, or I want this scene to feel sort of fragmented and and disoriented, but not disorienting. Mm. So I will I will need to fine tune this uh, this one a little bit. The distinction is very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, carry on. <coughs> She woke to a sense of swaying and cool air in her lungs. There were low huffing noises sounding from somewhere underneath, and a panorama of daylit sky and deforested hills unfolded ahead. Hi there! Glad to have you with us! She all tried to sit up, but was held back by stretcher straps. She made an effort to turn her head towards the speaker instead. Please, keep the breather on. You've inhaled too much of the local flavour for one day already. She saw a muscular woman of indeterminate age lower half of her face hidden behind a filter mask, the upper wrapped in loose scarf. The woman was casually riding a massive hairless animal with dark purple with a dark with sorry. The woman was casually riding a massive hairless animal with dark purplish hide and large dumb bovine eyes. It took Jewel a mo <laughs> Slow down. Just take it easy, man. You're not in any rush to get anything done. I mean <laughs> Just read it. Just chill, man. Enjoy it. <laughs> the woman was casually riding a massive hairless animal with dark purplish hide and large dumb bovine eyes. It took Jewel a moment to realise that this must have been the local breed of Bora. She'd never seen one that wasn't pink. She figured that her stretcher must have been mounted on a similar beast. She figured that her stretcher must have been mounted on a similar beast. <laughs> Problematic sentence, I can see it from a mile away. The Atmonet picked up your signal upon entry, but you never contacted the port. When they tried coming, they usually wait for five standard hours before they do. Got no response from your shuttle either. I know you cut it out, but I had to. What? what? No! You, you... Don't even, don't even say it. Like it's, it's like, say, whenever you, whenever you see something like standard hour in the text, just say like time period or. Something, something, time. Say da 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 da. Okay. <laughs> I had. I. 
I'm coming up with this on the fly here a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Atmo that's, 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 that's why I crossed it out, so like, no, let's not say it out loud. <laughs> Sorry, no, wrong, my bad. Wrong, bad word building. <laughs> I'm just going to say a while. Usually yeah, they wait for yeah, a while yeah, before they do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> probably throwing me. The Atmo net picked up your signal upon entry, but you never contacted the port. When they tried comming, they usually wait a while before they do. Got no response from your shuttle either. We help the port people keep track. Can't have people just running about all over this lucrative real estate. Jewel wasn't sure if the guide had just winked or if she had seen a reflection. She tried to peek forward beyond her feet and saw a blimp the size of a small cloud carrying a familiar shape in its tethered claws. She looked at the guide. One of the air patrols is lifting your shuttle back to the do lifting your shuttle to the docks, if you were wondering. Jewel nodded. She kept her gaze on the translucent spires rising above the misty horizon. Next time she opened her eyes, they were much bigger. I want to try one of these again. Hang on. <laughs> Jewel wasn't sure if the guide had just winked or if she had seen a reflection. She tried to peek forward, beyond her feet, and saw a blimp the size of a small cloud carrying a familiar shape in its tethered claws. She looked at the guide. One of the air patrols is lifting your shuttle to the docks. If you were wondering... Jewel nodded. She kept her gaze on the translucent spires rising above the misty horizon. Next time she opened her eyes, they were much bigger. See? What was that? That was brilliant! <laughs> Do more like that. Uh... Yeah, like, you're, you're not getting paid by a page. <laughs> <laughs> Just chill, man. Just take it easy. Right, man. <laughs> Something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's clear that she she's asking the question without the words. Yeah. more like, yes, that is your shuttle. Okay. So basically, a shitload of editing matters in this one and it was so clean before <laughs> <laughs> oh my god mm. I can't even what a fate <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this, this is more of the realization kicking in that the version that we have is a second draft. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's not <laughs> it's not failure or whatever. It's just yeah, working. Yeah. Like, this is not this is not the edition you were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> more like more like that. Okay. This I isn't even my final form. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think mm -hmm. let's uh, let's leave chapter nine to simmer. Mm -hmm. I have a pretty good idea what I need to do with it. It's not gonna be it it's it is going to be painful, unpleasant. But I'm. I know I will be able to whip it into into place. Mm. In some sense, uh, it might be a little bit more difficult to work on this because I have already sort of contrived certain things into shape so it's it's a little bit different case than uh, uh, like if, if you have a uh, if you have like a sort of raw unfinished drafty thing in some sense it is easier to shape that into into a polished thing than take an already polished contrivance and untangle it and then mm. polish it back. 
this is this is this is the this is the case where the paint job uh, is blocking some of the nuts and bolts. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's let's uh, let's leave chapter nine alone. I will mm -hmm. work on it uh, today and tomorrow. We will see where we get with this. Thank you very much, uh, everybody, for watching. And bye. Bye. Bye.